Hey friends, John Bolin here. I wanna give you four quick ways of how to connect with your people. Sometimes when you're leading a large team, it's hard to make them feel connected to you one-on-one. -on -one. Number one, be available before and after services and rehearsals. Be the first to get there and the last to leave. An artist might be able to just come on a concert setting, do a set and leave, but that's not what a worship pastor does. We're available um, before and after every service and every rehearsal. That's number one. Number two, use technology to connect with them. We text back and forth. I use the Remind app. There's lots of different resources to do that, but we do that so I can text them as a group, but they can also text me individually through an app and we can have those conversations of what to pray for, how to connect with them individually. Number three, call them on their birthdays. Y'all, this is the easiest and the coolest way to be a little silly. I call all my choir members, I call my teams on their birthdays and say, hey, happy birthday, and I sing happy birthday to them on the phone and they love it and they say, I can't believe John called me on my birthday. Yes, emails don't do that as much i'm telling you it gets lost in the traffic but call them it's a powerful thing and number four send prayer cards this is something i've done for years every morning i come in i have a pre-written card um, to every one of my choir members and my orchestra members and my, my band and what we what i do is just take two or three every morning i see a name and i write their name i pray for them write them a little note like i just did this this morning and then i send it off that day and they'll get it in a couple days and it blesses them every time to know that their leader prayed for them by name and it's it's always a powerful thing.